The ability to take your HMI and migrate that up to a SCADA system for a plan expansion gives you scalability and flexibility that can be a huge benefit to any automation system. Let me show you how easy it can be. So as you can see, we have our current HMI panel and all the levels are moving. And in fact, we are even virtualized with this current system. Uh, that way you can actually test out the hardware before you actually buy it and prove it out. Let me just close this out. And then here's the network view of our current hardware. So the first step is we actually want to add new hardware for the SCADA project. Let's go to the actual PC systems, down to panel PC. There is the 12 inch we want to use and it's a touch PNIE. Drag and drop it onto the network view. At this point we'll get a photorealistic view of this PC. We have it now in the network with the other hardware and of course for an HMI we have to add a runtime. So let's go add the WinCC RT Professional, drag it directly onto the PC, let go, and ultimately it'll marry up the PC and the runtime together. Okay, so now we have the hardware. Let's click on the connections button so all these different pieces of hardware are highlighted. If I just mouse over any one of them, doesn't really matter, I'm going to mouse over the PC runtime and I'm actually going to drag and drop that over to our controller and let go. At this point, if I go click on the show address labels, you'll see that it auto-created the IP addresses, device names, the physical network, and even the logical connections for the HMI to pass all the tags. The network is done, we can move on. Okay, so the next step, PC system. I actually want to change an attribute of this PC system. Let's go to runtime settings, let's double click on that. And let me go down to the screens, and I actually want to click on the button maximize. That way, when we do the virtualization of the actual SCADA, we can see it in the entire panel here. Okay, so the next logical step would be, let's have some screens, right? So let's go to screens at the PC system. Let's double click on add new screen once. Let's do it a second time. So we have screen one and screen two. So now, I would think that we want to create some kind of uh, navigation between the two. So all I have to do is just, if I have screen two open, just go grab screen one, drag and drop it up here. It will auto-create the navigation button for us to go back to screen one. And if I go back to screen one and drag and drop the screen two up here, it will auto-create a navigation button for screen two. So the navigation is now complete between the two. So something I want to do real quick is I want to minimize this and I want to change this to fit the screen so we can see the whole, whole screen. And then go back to screen two and do the same thing. Okay, so now I've got both my screens. How about attribute change for those screens? If I just give focus to it, right click and go to properties. If I go down to miscellaneous, I'll see here I can actually change the update time of this screen up to 250 milliseconds. So I'll do that for both. So let's go back to screen one as well. Go to miscellaneous. And let's go change it to 250 milliseconds as well. Okay, so the attributes are done. The navigation buttons are done. How about the tags? Wouldn't it be great if I could take the current tag database using the current HMI and reuse it completely? Well, let's try. So if we go to the current HMI tags, show all tags of the PC system, I have absolutely nothing in here at this point. So let's go back to the actual current HMI system, open up those tags, go grab the tags for tanks. There it is. Drag it to the new system, drop it in. Here's our tags. However, we have something potentially wrong. They've highlighted the connections in red. So let's go mouse over that and just click on it and go show that. So basically what it's saying is we've already got this connection going to the HMI panel. We have to create a new HMI connection to the SCADA system. The software is so smart, it's actually telling us there's a problem and even gives us an option to fix the problem. So let's actually choose the HMI connection. Click the OK button. And just like Excel, when you get the plus sign, the bottom right-hand corner of this field, once I've done that, I can just click on it and drag that attribute for all the tags. Let go. Say overwrite tag attributes. Say OK. Problem solved. Our tags and connections are ready to go. Next step. How about the screen itself? 
man, it would be great if we could reuse that entire screen we've already created. That way all the operators know exactly what they're looking at the moment they come up to it in the new supervisor control system. Well, let's just go to the screen for the tanks, double click on it. Here's the current screen we were already using. So what I want to do is go to screen one, click the split screen. So now there's the screen one and the old screen we're using in our current HMI panel. Let's perhaps just give focus to it and try to drag the entire screen over. Let's see what happens. So give focus to it. Let's drag it up to screen one, let go. Guess what? We can do exactly that. We can reuse the entire screen. We don't have to create any of this code again. All right, let's click off the split screen. I can resize, refit it. Let's drag it over here. Now I've got my new current HMI screen in the new automation architecture of the SCADA system. Okay, so something that's been bothering us for a couple of years is we've always wanted to have animation for our mixer, but we've never had the opportunity, the time to do it. Now's the perfect time. So let me go over to our libraries, and I've got something called faceplate technology. So ultimately, you could take graphics and animations, you could add it together for, your, for an HMI, whatever you want to do. Once you've got it exactly the way you want it, you can save that to your global library, and every single time you have a new panel come along, you go, go grab that faceplate, drag it on, and you're done. So let's go grab this faceplate for the mixer. Let's drag it on to this vessel, drop it in place, resize, refit. There it is. If I want to do something for the attributes, just give focus to it, right click, go to properties. And for instance, I actually want to do the actual interface of the tags for the mixer and the level. Okay, so that's easy. Go to the interfaces. Let's choose the fill level. It's going to be HMI tag. And let's use smart type and just type FI. There is the correct tag for fill level mixer. And let's do the same thing for on and off. HMI tag. Just type ON. There's the correct tag for that as well. Our two tags are now complete and so is the faceplate. Okay, so at this point what I want to do is actually want to just go ahead and give focus to the PC system and click the start simulation. So I'm going to do a virtualization of this actual SCADA screen as well without having to have physical hardware. That way I can test it out, prove it before I buy hardware. Okay, so the next thing is the secondary side. Man, it would be great if we could show all the new secondary hardware and equipment that we're putting in place for the bottling side of this facility and add it to our current HMI system. So let me minimize this. Let's go grab a conveyor and drag it onto the screen. I can resize, refit it, no problem. Now let's go grab a bottle box. Let's drag it onto the screen as well. Let me position it where I want it. Now I can do an on-the-fly animation of this bottle box. Just give focus to it, right-click, go to Properties. Go to Animations, Movements, click on Horizontal Movements. The moment I get a shadow box in the arrow, just grab the front of that arrow, drag it across the screen to the end point. Now that's done, all I have to do is go to the Process Tags and just type Palette. Use Smart Type, I'll find Palette Position, that's the correct tag I want to use. Now our on-the-fly animation is complete. However, there's one other thing I want to show you. How about actually doing a screen and screen or pop-up technology? So let's actually, okay, there's our screen. So let's go to screen two real quick. Double click on him. And let's go grab the control icon for this. It's called screen window. Let's drag it on. This is the ActiveX control. You can see a little alignment bar, just like in PowerPoint. That way you can align your boxes wherever you want to and get everything sized right. Let's resize, refit them on to the screen. And now that I've got focus on them, I want to change an attribute, right? Just right click, go to properties. At this point, let's go to the physical properties in general. And if I just go grab screen one and drag it on to display screen directly into the properties, I'll see everything I've already created on this little uh, screen screen or pop-up box I've created. So now everything is complete. All I want to do is give focus to the PC system, click on the compile. So now it's going to compile the two new things that I've done. You'll notice that ultimately I'd already started the simulation. I did two different changes to the screen during this time after the fact. It's actually going to compile that into the, the system. Once we actually go into the actual PC runtime, let's open it up. So as you can see, I have the entire screen architecture pulled over from the current HMI panel to the SCADA, including the faceplate, which is animated as well. I've also got my secondary side of the animation for the bottling side of this particular facility. I was able to accomplish all that, as well as going back to screen two. 
Here you can see the, the screen and screen or, or pop-up technology of everything we just created and we just pulled it into it and we able to accomplish all those tasks in just a matter of minutes. Now that's engineering efficiency. Thank <laughs> you.